How do I do this? Do I do an intro? Fuck intros. I hate intros. Three days ago, three days ago, I was streaming like normal and I happened upon this clip. <gasps> what the fuck? So you see here what happens is they teleport. They get hit by the first hit and they teleport grounded and then all of a sudden they're shielding. And I was super confused. My initial hypothesis was they were going airborne in the tech roll, which you do for a couple of frames. You go airborne in the tech roll for a couple of frames. And I thought that while they're doing that, they were SDIing onto the platform again so that they exited lag and then went into, you know, like actionable state again so they could shield immediately. Turns out it's not even that. It's not that complicated. What is happening in this clip is very simple, actually. And it's a miracle we haven't thought about it before. What's happening is simply that they are doing one SDI input to the side and one um, ACI input diagonally down. And to highlight this, here is the input map. You know, you SDI to the side and then uh, C-stick down and in, you hold it. And that gives you this... Um, very weird anti-fox tech. And what happened was, I thought that this was just a minor thing. I didn't think this was going to be that important. You can see by all the tabs I have up here that maybe we were wrong. Secondly, I asked Practical Tass what is going on. And Pete Tass writes this. So here's what happened. It has nothing to do with the tech roll. You can ASDI down Fox's up air 1 and land at any percent because it's set knockback. But up air 2 normally hits during neutral landing lag after. Pip's SDI, it's not mine, it's my opponent, uh, and my drift meant upper two missed Fox, but was in range of his shield, which is why you get this, where it hits the shield, but not the character. And then a little bit of fun trivia after, because Peach has only two frames neutral landing lag, and there's three frames before the first frame of Fox upper one, and the first frame is upper two. A Fox upper one that hits Peach on its first active frame can always be ASDI down shielded by Peach before upper two comes out. Now, this wouldn't be that insane if it weren't for the fact that um fox upper the hitbox isn't symmetrical uh it turns out that the first hit looks like this and the second hit looks like this and you can notice that side by side they have slightly different hitboxes right so it's actually really consistent to sdi out of this with one sdi input for like every character assuming they don't drift to counter it Here's where the fun examples started pouring in, and I realized that I might, in fact, have opened Pandora's box. Look at this. This here is a Marth that is um, doing the tech. You can see the input, and then instantly doing a uh, down air. So they're SDIing, and they become actionable immediately. Frame one. They go through the free frames of landing lag and then instantly run off and do a downer while Fox is still in the upper animation. Following that, we had Aklo who posted that, um, you know, he tried it out. The upper ring Fox can definitely just drift a little less to control where upper hits, but I can see this being useful. Even with this, it's remarkably more consistent than you would think, but you can definitely drift around it. There is an example of that later on. But for now, here's the Aklo clips. This here is obviously extreme drift compared to what I've been doing. I'm going to show you some clips that I got, which are neutral drift, and it is still possible to do this even on neutral drift. So you see this, that it's very... You just get out. You just get out. If they are trying to hit the slide off, then you can just do it and get out consistently. And again, a big difference, a key difference between this and um, slide off is that this is percent independent. You can do this at every percent. And it is also option independent and this is what makes it insane is that unlike slide off you do not have to commit to a tech roll to do this you can do this on no tech you can do this on tech in place and you can do this on tech rolls and miss tech rolls and i've got examples of everything later on here's a much smaller drift right in a real game in a real game aklo hits this and gets out twice and you can see that the first one the first one it's on tech roll to the right, and then on the second one, it's a uh, much further tech roll where they are drifting further. So even on the neutral one, you can still do it. There's a sim similar test, and you can see all of the tests that Aklar are doing are with full drift. So you might say, hey, just drift less, right? If you don't drift as much, then clearly, clearly, uh, this would not work, right? Obviously, it is 
entirely dependent on the drift. And that's where we have my favorite player, Fiction, coming in and showing us that Falco is, in fact, the best character in the game. Uh, take in place, and you're out. Does this look like drift? Completely in place, and then in place, ne uh, up air, and then bam, look, they're out. And it's so fast. What can you do with this? Well, Fiction decided to ruin it for all of us by showing this. Um, fun fact, you don't even have to do the dash. You can actually just do a standing shine and you'll get it most of the time. Um, it is extremely, extremely strong. And KGH showed this. Fox still has... Uh, Fox still has some direct counters, but this is still sick and can make it a mix-up. So, what is he talking about? And then he shows that you can in fact short top, but I want you to notice that when he does the short top... Do I have to pause for this? Yeah. When he does the short top, he also drifts a lot. Like, on the regular uh, full hop, he doesn't drift at all, but on the short top, he drifts entirely to the side. I'm fairly sure this still works if they do no drift on the short top, so you have to hard read it. Um, then something very funny happened, and that was I got arguably the funniest comment of all time, and I decided to link this to fiction. So Drew CG posts, oh well, guess you'll just have to jump shine them and keep up the pressure. Upper is a very nice tool, but it was never what made Fox good. Jump shine there into either fair or single hit up air off the plat is good enough, and if you can't tangle a zero percent, you still have lasers. And fiction replies. Are we playing the same game? Arguably the most killer reply I've ever seen. It is, it goes so hard. It's so cold. Uh, and I will elaborate on why. But before that, I in fact experienced something very similar. I wrote, this diagonal platform ASDI stuff feels like I accidentally opened Pandora's box and ruined it for all of us. My brother in Christ. We have, like, five other options that we can do instead. Nair, Dare, Bear, Shine, Jab. Jab? Jab. Jab. Me when the opponent teleports out of my upper tech chase. We got him, we got him, we solved it. You might have thought that this was, in fact, a technique that would make Fox worse and give people counterplay against him, but it turns out all you have to do is press jab. I've also decided to collect a bunch of uh, lab clips I got. Let's start with the Falco one. This is similar to the fiction stuff, but I decided to highlight the fact that this works on Mistech and on uh, tech roll, and it's not just one or the other. So we started the tech roll, right? You can actually do this. This is so absurd that you can do this. Look at look at this again. This is a uh, in, in, this is inescapable, basically. And then on mistech here, so you see I mistech and roll, and then I get this. So this is something you can do as well, where you you just mistech and then get whatever area you want, the down air or whatever. You can also still just go for the shine if you want to. Um, so both of these are exceptionally strong, and it makes it very scary for Fox to go for this. Hmm. Get the full punish. But obviously, this does not just affect Falco. It also affects a ton of other characters. We have Falcon. Falcon has a really fun one. He has, uh, this. You can do any smash attack afterwards. So, you can instantly... SDI out, and then start an up smash before they land. I'm fairly sure that it can hit before they are capable of shielding. Um, you can also just drop knee like this. If I can have to SDI out twice, if I take hold, I don't. I didn't have to. You shouldn't have to. It depends on how the fox is drifting. If they're neutral, you only have to do it once. It also depends on where you have your... Uh, ASDI uh, angle, the further to the side you have while still being down enough, the less, the more they have to drift to compensate. But in the case here, this drift isn't terribly extreme. You can see I, I drift back a little bit as well. Uh, so I land on stage instead of going off stage. Has someone made a YouTube video on this yet? What do you think this is going to be? 
that the reason I have decided to do this is because I decided to make a YouTube video about it. And here was the clip that I forgot to put in. Um, you can also just true punish it with this wonderful option of running off and doing stomp. An extremely, extremely strong option to have available. So this is uh, a problem, is what I would call it, as a fox man. That's obviously not all. Uh, every character gets some application of this. Obviously, if you have more situations that put you on the side platform versus Fox, then it is more likely that this will be helpful. Jigglypuff, for example, while they can do this, they aren't exactly going to get up thrown into the side platform and be in the perfect spot for it, right? But Sheik can just instantly up smash out of it or just turn her on grab and both of them true punish. So... Either or. You can pick your poison. Which one do you prefer? Just to get the up smash. You can also shield drop and just do like uh, a fair if you do a tech roll. You can just fair them or nair them or regrab or whatever. And then here was an example that I found particularly ex disgusting because every other example has been just up throw. Here's an example of a knockdown that isn't up throw and there is basically no risk to going for this at 30%. Like even if you get back here, you still get good DI for this, right? So you take roll to the side and then you do it and bam, all of a sudden you get your F smash, you get your grab, you get your downer, like the May clip, whatever you want. So you can just, uh, you can just pick your poison here. What do you, what do you prefer? And then finally, here is just the most default of all of them, where on taking place, you can just turn around and grab with like every character. This is just something every character can do. Um, and you get the grab, and now you get your whole punish. All of the answers that I can think of at the moment give a significantly worse reward. If we look at this situation, let's uh, full screen here. If we look at the situation and you see a fox tech roll here, uh, you can, of course, do a, a wave land on the platform and then grab them. The issue with that is you basically just loop the situation on the top platform. You don't... they can decide to de to the top platform. Obviously, you have back throw, if that's the case, and... But then you get one hit and then they're out, basically. You don't really convert that into a kill at any low percent ever. Uh, at least not from this position. So, the answer is pretty bad. You can instead do Waveland up tilt. That is very good and will give you a punish. The main issue is that if they tech in place and you decide to read this, uh, like that they are going for the option, it becomes extremely difficult to cover, right? Because this works against tech in place. That you can drift it with short top, but then you still have to guess like what direction they're doing it in and it becomes a 50-50 there. And the difficulty of execution goes up significantly while your reward stays the same or worse and you can't really call it out a low percent if i do a short top here and drift correctly to beat it it doesn't really help because uh if they take in place and just hold up then they get out i could just do a full jump and drift as well so in this case if i don't do this slight drift. You can see that I start here on the ground, but I end up like roughly where they are from the up air. If I don't drift this and instead do it in place, then they will SDI into it. So the mix-up stays the same with short hop or full hop. But if you do that, then they can just hold out and then they pop out. I don't think there's a way for most characters to um, just beat this every single time. It is always going to be dependent on what drift you do. The main difference is that unlike slide off, it is way more applicable because it works on taking place, miss tech, tech to the side, miss tech rolls to the side. It works on every option. And if you guess right, you get an upper like normal. But if you get guess wrong, unlike a slide off, you uh, can get hit by way more options. You can get grounded punished. Uh, and they can still, like we saw before, just decide to run off and, like, stomp you, right? Like, that, that is still on the table. Like, that hasn't disappeared. You can still also get up smashed like this. And all of these options aren't available if you decide to slide off. If you slide off and the fox lands on a platform, what happens is you, all of a sudden can like only hit them with maybe like an up air. Like if Falcon slides off a Fox up air and Fox lands on the side platform here, then he can just like up air weak hit and Fox maybe slides off onto ledge or whatever. Whereas now he gets an up smash. 
or he can just run off and stomp you like we saw earlier right here. You, you, like this wasn't possible before. You couldn't just run off and hit the stomp. You didn't have the time. And so the fact that you can do this on rolls and the big difference is if you were to slide off here, because at this percent I can slide off as Falcon. If I was to slide off here and the Fox drifted back just a little bit more so he ended up on the platform, I can only get a weak hit up air. Like, I, I'm not getting a significant punish. But I can look at the screen and see where he is while I'm doing this. And uh, if he lands on the platform, I do the up smash because it turns me around. Uh, so, you know, it is fairly consistent to just get an instant up smash or a grab, either or. Um, or if they go off the platform, you just get a stomp, a knee, whatever you want. And this is, of course, extremely powerful. So that is the SDI tech. I think it's going to be very applicable. It turns out it's not even that difficult. Like, again, here is the input map. It is just holding this direction either to, you know, it depends on which way they are facing, but you either want to hold it to the left or to the right. It's just di diagonal, right? And then tap one SDI away and then you get it. And it is way more consistent than slide office. Now, I will say, a lot of people don't know this. This is very related to why I think it's so strong, but I shouldn't assume that it is like required reading that everyone already knows it. You can't actually slide off Fox up there normally because it is a multi-hit. So what happens when you try to slide off a Fox up there normally, you actually can with double stick the eye. I, I found out it makes the percent window slightly smaller, but, uh, it is, it is sort of tight to do and percent dependent, but normally if you don't want to have a C-stick notch for it, then what you have to do is you have to hold your, uh, your C-stick like down and in, and then tap out on the second hit of up air, which is similar to what we're doing here, right? It's pretty similar to what we're doing here. The main difference is that if you mess it up, you get full comboed. What happens here if you mess it up is that you just land cancel on the platform again, at least at percents where you can slide off. So you, you just get knocked down on the platform again and you can instantly tech again or you can, you know, tech roll to the side or whatever. So it's much harder to follow up compared to when you go off the platform on the first one and then get hit upwards by the second hit. Here, if you do it towards the stage, then even if you mess it up, you are in knockdown and you can ASDI down tech, you can just, you, I'm fairly sure you can even option select it and do a tech just in case. Uh, so it is super difficult to consistently convert off of this as the Fox, even if you double hit at low percent. At higher percents, you're just gonna get the double hit, it's all good, they go up, it's all Gucci, you get your full combo. But at the percents where you could have slid off, this is still good. This is still good even when you mess it up. So the, the reward when you hit it correctly is this, and you just kill them. But the reward on, or rather the punishment for missing it is significantly better for the person on defense than a slide off is. So again, works on way more options, works on every tech option, whereas slide off only works on tech roll or miss tech roll to the side. Works at all percents rather than just, you know, slide off percent. It is so strong. I really look forward to seeing what we can do with this. However, as a Fox main, I want to apologize to all of my fellow brethren for what I have done. And if you hate me for this, then, you know, you're not alone. I also happen to feel a little bit of self-hate for this. I might have just gone and nerfed our character. And with that, bye. That's it for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that.